Hey y'all, uh, this is Cheryl. Thanks for joining me for another digital scrapbooking process video. Today I'll be using a free template from the template challenge at the lily pad. This is Flight Plan 29 by One Little Bird Designs. And I will be using um, some photos from 2012 from a digital scrapbooking convention, conference, whatever you want to call it. And we went to see the Hunger Games and I wanted to have these group shots on a page by themselves. I really like what's here. I just want to um, increase the size, I think, a little bit. So I want those photos to show up more, and I'm probably going to make them be um, thinking I'll probably make them be uh, not the square. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and pull them on to my page. And I am going to go ahead and make them you know, kind of small. This one here. And I am going to do a little bit of cropping. So I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and just uh, decrease the size of these a little bit. So that's there, that's there. I'm going to uh, add my white stroke around the edge. Make sure my lighting angle is where I want it, 45. And I'm going to be using a kit by Valerie Wibbins called When Skies Are Gray. And I'm going to start by just pulling in some of the papers. Y'all know I am a huge fan of grid papers, especially for backgrounds. And I think that one's just going to work perfectly. And I like this pattern, I think, there. No, I think it'll be this one. Yes. And let's see. Okay, that's going to be vellum or paper. Let's see what this looks like as in vellum paper. Hmm. I don't really care for that. Let's try this gray. I do like that. <clears throat> and then I think I'm going to try this darker pattern here. I'm going to move it so those pieces show. Okay. All right, I am still longing for there to be more for you to see the photos more. 
So I am going to increase that just a little bit more. That's okay. All right. And I need to find some additional papers that I want to use on these flags or pennants, whatever you want to call them. Let's see what happens when I rotate this. With the I think I like that a little bit better. I want to add this tag here. pieces here, I think. Okay, now I just need to find patterns that I want for hmm, here. Now I'm just going to be clipping because I think I want to make sure I have, yeah, because I like that little tag piece there. Here. 
Mm -hmm. Let's see. I think I'm just going to put paper up at the top. <clears throat> and I'm just going to repeat that spotted paper. Pull it up a little bit more and see what other. That's a good mix right there. Okay. So now I already added that one heart element. I really like this. I'm going to put it here. I don't know. No, oh, I need to put it there. Okay. Now I'm just looking for things I want to add. Kind of this little sequin to the top here. I'm just going to keep layering some more things. that there. Have some scabbers here. Some black ones in too. I'm going to take out where it says a big title. Make this a little bit smaller, I think. I think I'm going to take that back out. It's just too saturated. I don't know. A little bit of glitter though. So 
I will type my story here and then you'll see the finished layout in just a minute. Thanks as always for joining me. Be sure to click and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and share it with your friends. And if you have any comments, concerns, or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments below. And I'll get back with you as quickly as I can. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks. Bye.